Add and edit walls in the building file. Make stone base wall. OK, what's next? We're going to be making a stone base. Let's go back over to our live section view. There we are. So you may or may not have seen in your working with, with Revit so far that there's something called a stacked wall. And a stacked wall is a combination of two walls together. And those can be interesting. They can be useful. There's definitely a case to be made for them at times, but they're not very flexible. So usually you're better at just making another wall type and just literally drawing one and then drawing the other one on top of it. So what we're going to do is do a stone base around this. That's uh, what the client has asked us to do. And we're going to, first of all, split the walls where they want the stone base. So they want the stone base to wrap around here, start right over here, go right around, and stop right here. So from there around to there. OK, so let's get splitting. So I like to type in SL for split. And then I can just click right there and click on Unjoin Elements and hit Escape. And that is now a different wall type. Could do the same thing with this other one here. SL, split, there we go. Sure, Unjoin Elements, Escape. Now, what I did there is notice how it split it all the way over to there. It's not necessarily what I want. So what I'm going to do here is just undo that. And I'm going to split it once this way and then that way. So SL for split. Or you can get split under modify and then that tool right there. This is a little tricky. I'm actually just going to split it where I can, say there. And then I can click on it. Now that I can see it, I'll just pull it back. I'm going to hold down the shift key. That'll pull it over straight. Unjoin elements. I'm going to keep working here with split. So SL, split it right there. And I'm actually going to leave it like this for the time being. And then we'll, we'll deal with this gaping hole right now in the building. Uh, we're going to be making the wall type for the stone base. So I'll just click on that wall. It's called exterior 2. And what I'll do is just go to edit type. Duplicate, and I could call it exterior three, four, five, whatever, but I always like to put Acme, put some sort of identifier in front of that, and I'm going to call this one EW for external wall one, but then I'm going to just put a little descriptor like stone. Okay, structure, edit. So the finish is not siding. I'm going to click on that and change the material. It's called natural. Here we go, stone, natural soldier. OK, that's good. And then I don't really have a surface pattern on it. Let's just add something. Go to model. And we'll just go with, I don't have a stone hatch right now. So I'm just going to go with sort of a big block. And say OK to that. Now this is going to be minimum three and a half inches thick. Thermal air and so on. Everything else we are going to leave. That's it. OK and OK. And escape. So there it is. Let's do it with this one too. Click on that. And this is going to be the stone. You can tell, though, right away, because you don't see the hatch, it's flipped. So if I click on it, well, maybe not. I'm going to click on it. It looks like there is a hatch. It's just, for some reason, not showing. Oh, it's just too light. OK, so it is there. Let's just fix up what we've got here. So now we've got it in. I'd like to just do a section, like a real section, and make sure everything is lining up properly. So if we go to a plan view. Main floor arch is probably a good one. We've already got a section right there. Maybe we just take this one. I'm going to move it directly over here. And then double click on that section head. And make sure where I'm at a fine level of detail. Get our scale up to something reasonable. And I got to reset my view because it's just 
everything's set to being black. So VV and walls. I'm going to just clear the overrides off walls. Okay, so what I'm looking for is this right here. So I want to see those drywall line up. I want to see those studs line up. And then we're going to put a little cap on top of that. So that's good. All right, that's just a working section for the time being. What about the height? I'm going to click on that. And right now, somehow we lucked out and did it exactly at four feet, which, sure. Let's click on that one, make it four feet. I can use the align tool and just align that, align that, and there we go. And I think I know what's going to happen next. The client's going to say, hey, we want that to be stone as well. And we want a stone cap. Oh, okay. Well, we already made this one earlier. So let's just click on that masonry wall that we made earlier. Edit type, duplicate it. We'll call this one Acme stone one. And for structure, I'm going to click on edit. And instead of the Acme brick one, let's look for the one that we're using. I think it was called soldier something. There it is, natural soldier. Okay. And for the other side too. There we go. And okay. Okay. And there it is. And this one right here, I'm going to switch that to the stone as well. And the other thing that we were doing was just lining this up. So I'm going to use a line tool. Modify a line. I'm just going to align that up like that. I just want the front face actually to be lined up. That'll work. And then line that one up using a line. Okay, hit escape a couple times. Let's just pull our live section out a little bit. I'm actually just going to pull the bottom up a bit too because it's a little deep. Okay, that's about good. So let's save what we've done. Save as. Building. Replace, yes. Application menu and close. And that concludes this lesson.